So yesterday I, we took the pontoon boat out and I shot some video as we were going out but it wasn't, uh, in, you know, I wasn't able to get up into certain places and we found a boat or a kayak or something up in one of the coves but it was, I didn't want to go up in there with the big pontoon boat so I'm going back out today. Uh, this is my local, my normal spot as you know a lot of times I'll pull the boat up on the shore right over there and there's a about a two foot bank there well that's that's the water's up was over the top of that it's actually come down just a hair you'll notice i usually measure it by that pine tree it's about a foot below the pine tree now yesterday actually you can see the wet spot where it was up just really like right at the base of the pine tree um, but what i'm going to do is just take us out uh, and take us up the cove toward uh Toward where I saw that boat, I've got a, I've got a, a, a neighbor and a friend over here that owns a piece of land on the water, and his girlfriend's son has been camping out over there and fishing, and he's been storing a kayak up in the woods. I'm guessing the water might have got high enough to wash that kayak out into the lake. And when I see something like that, I've actually gone out once and helped him get the kayak back because it, it washed into the lake a few weeks ago when we had a rain. And he, he didn't know where it was at. And he didn't have a boat, so I took him out to find it. And when I went out yesterday, I saw one. I thought, well, it's, if it's his, it's upside down because it's, the, the color didn't match his. But I thought, well, I'll go check it out. If it's anybody that I know, I'll bring it in here and let them know about it. But my other neighbors up there, they got a lot of really, really bad damage. They they live in a they live in a, an, in a in a little house, little compound that's deep in the woods with a lot of uphill and downhill and sharp curves. And those are the the coon dog people. And um, there's an awful lot of trees, and they had an awful lot of trees that came down that crushed a lot of their. Uh, a lot of their stuff you know they had uh, like cages animal cages and sheds and a lot of stuff like that i just realized i still got my hearing aids in i'm going to take these out <laughs> makes it a lot quieter but i really i take them out because uh i don't want to get water in the hearing aids if i was to go in the water i'd ruin those hearing aids um, but their place is they're, they're so bad he had to bring in a big tractor Backhoe and a bunch of people, and I'm not sure if they've even got the road in and out of their place out to the public road here yet or not. But bless their hearts, they've, they've probably lost a lot of stuff over there. Uh, she had one animal that they haven't found. Uh, one of the raccoon cages, uh, something fell down on, and the animal that was in that they haven't been able to locate. So they don't know if he took off in the woods or. Or what? It's a pet. One of the pets. This boat is really nasty, but still works good even when it's nasty. And I suppose, well, I, it's pretty easy to clean this boat. I can, I can literally, once the lake water clears up, if it's warm enough for me to go in, I, go, I can go in and wash this in the lake. And if it's not, I can pull it out, put it on the trailer, and wash it up. But today's mission, I've got I've got some things I'm doing at the house. I still haven't put my generator away, and I've got a, you know, I've got a place where I keep it stored, so it needs to be. It need, and that's the same place where the the dancers dance in my garage, so it needs to be tucked up out of the way, put away in a place where it can sit for years until I need it. And one of the things I thought about when I pulled it out last was it would be really nice if it had a trailer hitch on it. So I could hook it to the golf cart and pull it around with the golf cart. Uh, I actually chained the handle to the side of the golf cart to get it out the other day. It's got wheels on it, but it's it's pretty darn heavy. Um, so I need to roll up my cape, my my wires. Um, I need to deal with that generator. I did I did run the gas out of it yesterday. I've got a water line that broke, oddly enough, but it's it's in a place where I actually wind up running over the water line where I had it. it was, across the driveway down there. I come down in there and circle around like when I'm bringing the pontoon boat in. So 
Uh, I started burying that yesterday. I'm, I need to finish burying that. It was funny, I was just about at a place where I felt like I didn't have anything to do. And I was thinking, well, I'll just sit around and play banjo. Well, now I'm back to a place where I've got plenty to do. <laughs> the, the storm uh, <laughs> created a situation where, yeah, I've got plenty to do now. Uh, I don't know if my monster washed away. I've got a like a monster tree over here. It looks like a monster face on it. I don't see it. I don't know if it washed away or if it's under water or what. And I'll look for my log. I've got a log that I'm not sure I need to set it up on the bank. I set it up there so we can sit down on it if we want to sit down and fish. But never did sit down on it. I was afraid it might get ant, might have ants in it or something, so I really never did use it. Uh, and I've got a knee going bad on me. Uh, I've had meniscus surgery on both knees, and one of them popped again the other day. And ever since then, it's been in pain, and I've been trying to keep using it sort of gently and stretching it and stuff. To, and I've actually talked about, I talked to people, or a person at least that I know, or actually some people I know that are familiar with knees replacement surgeries, and you know, I, what I've, what I've been advised that I believe to be most true, the airplane up there I'm here, is better off if you can avoid having to get the surgery according to them, because one of the guys that's had the surgery has had it He's had two knees done, had his two knees done twice, and one of them failed him the other day. It popped out or broke or did whatever they do. So apparently he's not at all happy with that. So he said, man, if you got a knee that's working at all, don't mess with it. And uh, somebody else told me the same thing. So I'm not, uh, not planning knee surgery. Um, so as I'm riding along here, usually there's a, there's trees that stick out of the water. Well, all those trees are underwater now, so I'm trying to judge getting out of here by where the bank is. Of course, the bank is now up in the woods instead of being out here. Like, I know from memory there's a shallow spot that comes out here with some stones in the bottom, but because I'm up so high, I would be over those stones. We were out on the lake yesterday, and they're markers, and usually, the markers on the lake are, like when I go by on the boat, they're way up there. If I stood up, I wouldn't be able to touch the top of them. But we went by yesterday, and um, they were almost down to the water. The water had gotten so high that I was higher than the edge of the markers. So Now, this place right here, normally there's a tree there and a tree there, and there's a bunch of trees in the water here. Of course, I'm probably three feet higher than the tops of those trees that are normally underwater so but I am gonna uh, kind of veer for, toward the tree that I can see and I think the boat if it's still there is, is up in, around the next little bend up in the next little cove. Water is nice out here. Um, I may do some sightseeing while I'm out here because even though I have lots to do there's no rush about it because you know, being retired, I've got the time to enjoy this. And this is quite a lot to enjoy. The The beauty of the lake right now, and I don't know if you can really see it or if you can really tell, but I mean, with this high water line, it just makes everything a little bit more, I don't know, maybe the word is a little bit more amazing. You know, the water goes right up to the trees and the trees are reflected in the water and the, the lake just looks bigger. There's a fish jumping out there. And there's another one over there. The fish seem to be really enjoying I see an awful lot of fish jumping since we've had that storm. And I'm guessing that a lot of stuff has washed into the lake, which has put a lot of extra food in the water, you know, bugs and all sorts of things like that. So it seems like the fish have been having a pretty good time with all that. And a big one jumped out there. Sometimes you can see them big ones jump. They're so big they jump out of the water in there. You can tell they're really big fish out here. Uh, I'll put this camera back down. I don't know if it's better to look at me or look out at the scenery. I'm sure some of you would think one thing and some of you would think another thing. Um, 
I guess I could, since I'm not that pretty, I could turn you that way and you can look out across yonder. I might need to change the setting on my camera. It's supposed to have a horizontal setting, but it doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to cut y'all off and do that. I'll be right back. So there that boat is. I'm going to be driving right over to it. I'm trying to say I could zoom you out so you can see it, but that's where we're going. I'm going to go see if this is my neighbor's boat. If it is, I'm going to need to make sure that it's tied to a tree or something. It may be fine where it is if it's tied to something. But if that's his kayak, it's upside down. It could be because I think he had a box on the back of it that uh, he kept fishing stuff in. looks like a kayak and he had his painted up in camouflage paint so that's probably it and yeah he's got there's his box on the back of it that is his okay so what's my best way of getting this What would happen if this isn't tied up is it could wash out into the water there. If I can get a hold of it. Suppose I could tie a string to it and just drag it. I've got uh, this thing here. I could just tie this to it and pull it. If I could get this to go up under that loop there, that way I wouldn't have to try to pull it, and turn it over. It's probably full of water.
I see what happens. Here we go. I might pull that over to my neighbor's beach because my neighbor is related to. Uh, he's related to the fellow who's related to the fellow that owns this. So, don't do that. That'll work. It's pretty from here. Huh? Actually, if I had a piece of rope, I could just tie it to a tree over in here somewhere where he could find it. But I think the last time, I think the last time he was camping up in there somewhere. I don't really have an extra piece of rope in here. I've got some string that might work. Uh, it's like an old fish, old fish uh, line. I could use that. I think the place he camped is over in there. I wanted to go get my paddleboard anyway. I loaned it to the neighbors and I noticed it was floating in the water over by their beach the other day. So I need to go get it and probably take it back to my place. Uh, I've got a little steeper hill over where I live and it's probably easier. Ooh, you see that fish jumping? <laughs> It's probably easier to get it on higher ground over at my place because of the location of the land. Yeah, it's a pretty shallow run. I knew it was though. Water's nice and smooth. Wouldn't be a bad day just to zoom around the lake a little bit.
So if it's still here, my paddle board is up in there now. That's where a beach would be <laughs> if, it, if the water wasn't so high. And my paddle board was floating in, in amongst those trees the other day when I was over there. Um, and I pulled it up into the woods a little bit. I think if I can, uh, I think I can drag this boat up for I've got the paddle board out and bring the paddle board over. I want to take it home anyway because this winter I want to uh, redo that paddle board, reseal it, and maybe repaint it. Too. I think what I'm gonna do is step out with this boat. Uh, I see my paddle board up in there. Luckily, I, I left a pair of shoes in here that I can use for like water shoes, I think. That way, if I don't, if I step out, I don't have to worry about stepping onto uh, stuff. Wow, this water is deep. I'm up to my knee over here. Grief. Hmm. Water's a lot deeper than I thought. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do something different than that. I can see where my paddle board is up in the woods there. It's not in any danger of really going anywhere. Uh, I could take this rope off and tie it to a tree over here. I see I step down right here. I went all the way down to my knee. And that's at least two feet deep. I don't think I want to step out into that. Let's see if I got anything in here. I might have a... Oh yeah, I got another rope here. Thank you. 
Okay. That'll hold it. If I can get myself out of the woods here, we'll go look around, see what else we can find. I just tied it to that bush. That bush is well out of the water. We're probably sitting on top of the beach here right now. So if the water goes down and it stays there, that'll be good. It won't, that way it won't ride away out into the lake somewhere. And I'll give him a call later and let him know where it's at. All right, let's get out of here. I was going to get my paddle board but that would have meant getting out getting up in the shore there and I decided eh, I don't want to do that I don't want to get that wet I think I'm going to take myself back home I got plenty to do around there that needs to be done so at least I know that boat is safe uh, on a day like this after a storm a lot of times you can ride around and find all sorts of things just washed away